My name is Michael Higgins, and I am a licensed clinical social worker at the University of Utah Clinics. The goals in my practice include helping patients and families with the mental aspects of dealing with diseases. For this video, I'll be going over some of the main topics, such as advanced directive forms and questions to ask yourself and loved ones that can help drive the mental health side of your treatment. My hope is to utilize questions and evidence-based therapeutic techniques to begin deeper conversations because if it's mentionable, it's manageable. Death has its own paperwork. I wish I could say I found a way to make end-of-life planning quick and clear, but the truth is it's difficult both in feeling and in practice. Emotionally, it's not easy to entertain a plethora of life and death scenarios predicting how you'll feel and putting your needs into words. And in practice, you're filling out legal documents which are written in arcane language that require witnesses. Since I can't make it painless, I'd like to at least provide some terms and tell you what to expect. An advanced directive is a legal document that notes your health care wishes should you be unable to make health care decisions for yourself. It's a tool that you can use to direct your medical care at a future time when you can no longer think and communicate for yourself. In Utah and in most states, an advanced directive and a living will are the same thing. An advanced care directive is a state-specific legal document and can be provided free by the hospital or by downloading it and completing it yourself. It will ask you to elect a health care agent which is a person who will make a medical decisions for you should you not be able to speak for yourself. It will also ask you to make your end of life care wishes known, including what approach to treatment you prefer and what specific interventions you want in the event that you're unable to communicate those wishes yourself. It also briefly discusses organ donation. That's a basic overview of the advanced directive. The other forms you'll want to consider are the durable power of attorney for finances, a will and a living trust. All of these forms are meant to document important conversations. They are not substitutions for the discussions you should have with your loved ones, who, when armed with, through, with a thorough sense of your personality and beliefs, will be able to speak for you in ways no form ever could. Lastly, it's good to remember that this form can change over the course of your life, as you may change your mind on any of the details within these documents. Sometimes the choices we prefer when we're healthy may no longer be, make sense to us when we're actually confronting death.